Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do, we're going to focus on core stabilization to help bring you into better posture. If you sit at a desk most of the day, um, if you drive a lot, if you sit and watch TV a lot, if you have a desk job, things like that causes your muscles to tighten up all in the front, which causes your round and back, and you walk around like this most of the day. So this will bring you into better posture. So hopefully this will help you understand what muscle to activate and what to activate so that you can effectively work your abs. So the first thing we're gonna do, your toes are gonna be together, your heels apart, about two, three inches. And then you're going to, um, what we need to do is bring in the adductors, okay, like this. But before you do that, you need to exhale, okay? So let's exhale right now. You wanna draw the ribs in, draw the ribs in, exhale. You're gonna keep this tightness and breathe. I'm breathing, I have no problem with this, and neither should you, but if you don't, try to focus on this area right here. Now, we're gonna bring in the knees. Still, toes together, heels apart. We're gonna externally rotate the shoulders so your palms are gonna be up, and you're gonna lean back just a little bit, and your arms are gonna come out to the side, no higher than shoulder level, and you're gonna exhale when you pull the elbows in. Feel those ribs? You gotta feel those ribs right here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, we're gonna do five more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two more, give me two more. One, two. You should feel it burning in your abs. If not, go back to square one and start all over again with your breathing until you get that down. You really no need to go forward until you get the breathing down. Okay, now the first exercise we're gonna do is the bicycle. We're gonna be down on our back. So the right leg is out, left leg is in. Now the higher the leg up, the higher this leg is, the easier the exercise is. So if you want it really intense, bring it out and get it close to the floor. Your elbow to the opposite knee. There you go, breathe. Slow-mo, it gets it every time. There's three, we got 10 of these. Four. Five. Here's six. Seven, eight, got that breathing down, nine, ten. So you know you get that breathing going on, you should feel a little burning in your ass. Mine are on fire right now. So focus on the breathing and the diaphragm. Okay, side plank is next, are you ready? Just gonna lift the hips up and down. We got 10 repetitions on each side. And here we go. Down and up. You can also do these on your hand. One. Just four. Five. Eight. Nine. Here's 10. My goodness, my abs. Are y'all feeling that? Seriously? Out. Here we go. Yeah, burn, baby. All right, here we go. Pulling those ribs. There's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, doing good. Hang in there. One more. Yeah, we're hitting every single bit of the abs <laughs> and every single part of the core. Okay, go. Tuck yourself in, lift your hips, come up. You wanna challenge yourself? 
let go. I think this is four. Breathe out. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And that's ten. Okay. So the last one is shoulder taps. This one's tricky because you can't really roll your hips either way. They got to be totally stabilized. So you're going to be in a plank position and you're going to tap, you're going to shoulder tap and you can always do them on your knees, but you know me, I like high intensity. So I'm going to come up into a plank. My feet are going to be shoulder width apart, hip width apart, maybe a little wider. And then I'm going to raise my right arm, my right hand, and touch my left shoulder. All of this without doing this, okay? So you're not going to you're not going to rock your hips back and forth, okay? <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to do ten, and it's going to be hard count. All these are hard counts, so that means right and left count as one. <sighs> okay, you guys ready? Here we go. One, one. Hips don't sway back and forth. They don't hike up on one side. Really let out that air. one. Good job, you guys. Now your abs should be on fire. If you don't feel anything in your abs, go back to the breathing technique, the one I talked about earlier. This is a great corrective exercise that you can do if you do sit, sit most of the day. Uh, it's a great option. You can take this workout and do two of these exercises before you even do your workout. That'd be great for you to do. Or after, or do all four of them after. You can do these timed. You can have a timer and do uh, Tabata, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off if you want. But uh, I hope you like the bootcamp ab tutorial. And we will see you guys in the next video. Be sure and subscribe. If you like, hit that like button and share with a friend. See you next time.